Roswell Flight Test Crew here at CES 2020 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm talking to Sun Suk Ro over here at the Doosan booth. How you doing, Sun Suk? Hi, uh, it's been a crazy week. Nice to meet you, Patrick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have got this big old drone sitting behind us here. And I saw one that looked like this from you about 18 months ago yeah. at Interdrone. What's changed? Yeah, 18 uh, months ago, it was an old prototype. Uh, now it's all for sale. We launched uh, last October. Yeah, it's pretty much ready now. <laughs> now, this aircraft has two hours of flight time, is that right? And how do you get that? Yeah, so the conventional lithium batteries, you can make drone flight only for 20, 30 minutes, but uh, we use hydrogen as our fuel, and this is actually a hydrogen fuel cell power system, and that makes uh, drone flight for two hours, yeah. Wow. And so you've got like a tank of hydrogen gas in there? Yeah, there's a hydrogen vessel inside, and um, whenever you want it, you on, uh, order it online that will deliver it to your work site, and they'll collect the empty ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, is it safe? Everybody, of course, remembers the Hindenburg when you think in terms of aviation and hydrogen. Yeah, we are aware that people are afraid of hydrogen. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's why we try to convince them that it's safe. So we've done all the tests, and we are Having actually a DOT certification this March, and uh, with all the tests like throwing away at 150 meter high, uh, putting in a fire, uh, yeah, we and actually passed all the tests. So yeah, we kind of safe, safe, yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. So now, what sort of missions do you see this aircraft doing? Yeah, uh, we like to actually uh, use our drone in like lots of applications, uh, but for now, most of the applications are inspections like solar farm, agriculture, uh, transmission lines, and by using a thermal or zoom cameras, yeah, it's mostly analysis of the images, yeah. Now, uh, let me ask you, I, I mean, most inspections done in a relatively small area, is two hours of flight time really a benefit in inspections? Yeah. Uh, like for example, we have been testing this solar farm that's a 2 megawatt system. 2 megawatt solar farm is actually not that big, but using battery drones, you have to actually place battery like two or three times for whole, uh, whole plant. Uh, but by using our drone, you can actually uh, uh, inspect 4 megawatt to like 8 megawatt uh, solar farm without replacing any of the fuel. Yeah. Any other uh, applications you've been testing with this? Yeah, we are always willing to add uh, new applications. And two months ago, we had this test on Virgin Island. Uh, we actually transported blood samples and bacteria from uh, one island to another, and it was about 43 miles, and we actually succeeded it. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, I'm gathering I'm not going to find this on the shelf at Best Buy. What does one of these bad boys cost? And if you want to get one, how do I get in touch with you? Oh, you can always call us directly. We have dealers in the United States. Uh, yeah, that is uh, the price. Uh, it's uh, about $63,000. Yeah, for whole system. Yeah. Since like, thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Patrick. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, too. All right. From CES 2020 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew. Send me off. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>